Yeah. Yeah. First dungeon. Everybody give it up for E1O! Yeah. Yeah. What's up, you guys? Yeah, I saw this dude walking his dog. Uh, he looked just like my dog, right, Peanut? The only difference was uh, his dog had a cropped tail, you know? I was like, that's kind of weird. I wonder why he did that. I'll tell you one thing, I bet you a million dollars the guy was circumcised. You know, the French president, uh, yesterday, he swam across the Seine River, right? To uh, prove that it was clean, you know? And a bunch of French people, they all took dumps in the river to fucking protest him, right? Yeah. Kind of almost feel bad for the president. I'm like, man, that's a shitty situation. And you know, dolphins are like the, they're like the perverts of the animal kingdom, you know? I don't know if you know this, but they're like freaks and shit. Like, uh, mothers will have sex with their sons and shit. They'll even have sex with their daughters and shit. They'll like use their dorsal fins to fucking like pleasure each other. It's, it's fucking crazy, right? You know, now you know why they fucking evolved that bottle nose. You know, every now and then I think, uh, you know, I don't think English people can really speak their language correctly, you know? It's like, uh, right, like they don't say aluminum, right? They say aluminum. Like strange. And they don't say A to Z. No, they'll say A to Z. I'm like, who the fuck is that? And why? I don't know. Same with comedian, you know? They don't use that term. They have a more eloquent term. You know, they could say, uh, unemployed actor. Yeah, you know, the whole bear in the woods, whatever. Would you rather have meet a bear or a man? And the women are saying, oh, I'd rather meet a bear. I'm like, you know, I, I think that's just speaking out of ignorance of bears, you know? Because I met a bear in the woods once, and he fucked the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And you know, homeless names, right? They're trying to make us call them, like, unhoused, right? And I'm like, you know, I think we're going the wrong way, you know? Because when I was a kid, we called them bums, you know? And that kind of deterred the next generation from being homeless, right? So I'm like, you know, we should give them like the most degrading fucking names we could think of. You know, I got one. Yeah, you want to hear it? Open my comedian. Okay, let me tell this story. Uh, you know, when I went to the uh, the Mets, right? Okay, when I in process in the army. Let me take this. I got to Anyway, so my recruiter takes me to the, the Bonaventure Hotel right in downtown. And he's like, you see that line of people? Get in line and sign in. They'll tell you what to do. So I get in line, I sign in, and then uh, they gave me my, my room ticket, my room key and everything. They're like, all right, you better go sleep early because we're going to wake you up at 3 o'clock in the morning, right? I'm like, 3 o'clock, right? I'm 18 years old. I've never waken up at 3 o'clock for any fucking thing, right? So I'm like, all right, whatever. And uh, just as I said, right, 3 o'clock, the fucking phone rings and shit. I'm like, hello, you know? And they're like, get downstairs, get on the bus, right? So I get downstairs, get on the bus, and they take us to this place, right? I think it was this uh, Air Force Base in Long Beach. Anyway, uh, first thing they do, right, they, they break us up into our, our branches, right? Army here, Navy here, Marines here, you know, Air Force there, right? The very first thing we all notice is that all the pretty girls are in the Air Force, you know? And we're like, fuck, right? So anyway, we go, we take this weird fucking test, right? It's like, it's like the fucking SAT on steroids and shit. It's crazy, right? And then after, like, uh, they break us up into these little groups, and then they tell me, hey, you go into this room, right? So I go into this room, and right away, I'm like, what the fuck? You know, it's just full of fucking, like, uh, dudes in their underwear, right? And they're, like, doing jumping jacks and fucking windmills and all these squats and shit, and I'm like, and they're like, get in there, you don't take your clothes off, right? I'm like, um, what? You know? I'm like, okay, you know, fucking, it's really, really uncomfortable. I've never done anything like this before, ever. So anyway, what's going on is uh, there's a sergeant in the front, right? He's telling everyone, all right, do jumping jacks. Okay, now do windmills. All right, now do squats. And then uh, there's these two other sergeants, and they're like walking up and down, right, the rows, and they're like watching us like fucking hawks and shit, you know? And then we're doing our things, and one of those sergeants, he yells to the guy next to me, he's like, you, do that windmill again, right? And he tries to do it, but he can't go all the way up, right? He's like, you're out, get out, you know? And that was it, he was out, you know? And that's how quick it was, you know, people were getting fucking dropped left and right. We had the vision test, hearing test, fucking all these things. We're like, go, go, bam, you're out, you're out, you're out, right? There was one Mexican dude, he was like all tatted down and shit. He's all talking about how his dad was a Marine, his uncles were Marines and shit. How he's going to be like the best Marine in the world, you know? All of a sudden, the guy comes up, you, you're out. He's like, what? He's like, why? He's like, because your neck is too thick. You know, his neck measured too thick. That was him. He couldn't be a Marine. He almost started crying right then and there in front of everybody and shit. It was fucked up. So anyway, I'm going through all these tests, just one after another after another. Finally, like around five o'clock, I finished my last test. And the sergeant's like, you passed, son. You know, he shakes my hand. He's like, welcome to the United States Army. 
And I remember I was just so happy and I was like so proud, like, thank you, Sergeant. And then the whole time I was in the air, I couldn't wait to get out of that motherfucker. And uh, I guess it was the last joke. You know, comedians will always tell you two things, you know. They'll always tell you when they just get booked on a show. They'll always tell you when they just had sex. That's a bit juvenile, right? Like myself, I haven't been booked on a show in over a month. But I did get late last week, so whoa! All right, my name's Iwano, I'm right here, thank you. Uh, uh, Sean, Friday night, there was a dude who was...